I have ranked number one in a $51 million industry, part of a $3 billion industry, and I've done that with a single prompt. Hey guys, so welcome to Rosa Scale, and today I'll teach you how to rank your site organically with local SEO. Here's some proof, obviously. This is the keyword for in cleanup Somerville. And if we disregard the sponsor's results, can even hide them. The website number one is this one, Hoarding Cleanup Somerville. And this is my website. It's a nice looking one pager done in a very specific manner. And I'll show you the inside out. I show you the proof of ownership as well. And the craziest part is that I even got my first lead. So I'll be blurring out the personal information, obviously, but I really want to read this out. Had one company removed most of clutter, didn't finish the job, made mistakes, have bad bugs. About one-fourth of the house left, have health issues, need help, want to get heat treatment, left voicemail on a Friday, please call, we need deep cleaning, garage, storage room cleaned later, at your earliest convenience, thank you for your help. So if this is not a legitimate lead, I don't know what is. And this is extremely valuable because as I told you, I actually looked up on perplexity and the hoarding industry in the United States is estimated to be up to 3.2 billion annually. South Carolina alone is between 35 and 66. And Somerville, which is only a small population of 52,000, is in the range of 350,000 and 650,000 dollars. So this is huge. And the average cost per project is $12,000. So this is insane. Insane, it tells you. With all this out of the way, let me tell you exactly how I was able to do that. I first started with niche research. I ran this prompt with Genspark, giving 20 low effort, high impact, geo targeted rank and rent business ideas that are flying under the radar that nobody is targeting. What are some low volume but high value local business keywords, especially in the trades that probably don't have map back representation? I'm looking for services where consumers urgently need help, something they don't want but must call someone to handle right away. So this is a mouthful, even though it's a shorter prompt. So basically, we need a few things. Uh, we need something that is a real business. We need something that does not currently have a map back, which means that we don't have to have a Google My Business or a GMB representation. We don't have to deal with all of that we can just have a nice looking uh, rank and rant website. So very long conversation with Genspark that I had and it actually offered me quite a few options. So some of the suggestions were sump pump, emergency repair, furnace heat repair, emergency electrical panel upgrades, foundation emergency waterproofing, crime scene cleanup, mold remediation emergency, septic system emergency repair, order house cleanouts. And I did a lot of back and forth on follow-up and it just turned out that the hoarding niche is extremely valuable, it's extremely high ticket. After I did that, I asked Genspark to choose between several cities. It suggested me South Carolina, three US states, I mean. It suggested South Carolina, Ohio, and Alabama. And inside of each of these states, it suggested me different cities based on potential. And within those suggested cities was Somerville. So what I did then, I actually went and checked the SERPs manually which you should do as well. As you can see, there is no map pack. There was no map pack to think of. So this is all organic results. Next up, I drafted an SEO optimized outline. So this is a prompt that is going to be in my newest edition to my classes, which is going to be called Local SEO Outranking Academy. And this is the exact prompt that I used. It's not complicated or anything. It just gave me an outline. The only thing that I did, I used my competitors as input and I took LSI keywords from NeuronWriter and used those as well. And then I created a one pager. So basically, Jasper gave me an outline and then I said, okay, now generate a stunning mobile friendly interactive HTML page based on the above, no food. And when that was done, I just went on Hostinger. I bought a website, which was the exact match domain, which corresponded to the keyword. Let me just open it up. Let me go straight to the WordPress admin appearance editor. I'm using the popcorn theme for those of you playing at home. And this is the exact code that I used. As you can see, I have full access to this code. Again, if we preview it, you'll see this is a very nice looking page. 
and the actual telephone number and the form are they used to work <laughs> i had no idea i was ranking number one i totally forgot about this project this is the power of this outranking prompt because i actually repeated this before with akron copywriting so we just check real quick i used exactly the same prompt and here i am number one elite copyright in akron and this is the website that i created using the same prompt so this is a very very powerful prompt now what did i use to capture leads this is the last step it's extremely easy i used hush.com to get my telephone number again i <laughs> discontinued it because i was not aware that somebody was calling and leaving messages you get unlimited uh, plan for five bucks so this is extremely inexpensive and and i have uh, the lead capture form on my website and i used form spree and form spree is completely free on a free plan you get 50 submissions so you can capture 50 leads per month without overpaying or paying anything extra this is what i used and this is how i was able to rank number one now obviously i can make money i can sell the leads i can collect the leads myself i don't live in the us but if i had representation or partners in the us they could run a business together with me just to remind you the process was extremely simple i found a niche using a specific prompt inside of Genspark. i checked the serps manually to reconfirm the findings I ran the local outranking prompt that I'll be sharing in my school community. I generated an HTML code without the footer. I pasted that into Hostinger and I used Hushed and Form Spray to ensure the leads are collected on a budget. So it's this simple. And I'm planning on running multiple experiments with this outranking prompt of mine. So if you want to watch me grow an empire of these kinds of websites, give me a like, subscribe and comment. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you next time. Cheers.